What's good, YouTube family? It's your girl, Megan Raquel, and I am back again with another video. subscribe to the channel just go ahead and hit the subscribe button now um if you're new here i talk about a lot of my laser light bulb journey and i'm also going into creating and shooting lifestyle content as well i'm a mom mother of three fiance entrepreneur all of the above my life is exciting and it's always something going on um if you're not new to this channel hello thank you all for supporting all these rock it with your girl definitely appreciate it so today is my body treatment day as y'all see at the beginning of this video um, I didn't record it. Well, I didn't record inside because it's basically what I've been doing the past two weeks. I've been seeing phenomenal results. Um, of course, I've been doing what I had to do on my end, like drinking plenty of water, making sure I'm doing my cardio and things of such. Um, but the results are phenomenal. Definitely money well spent so i cannot wait till we hit that 1000 subscriber um giveaway so that i can give somebody a body treatment so they could see exactly what it's going to do for them too if they're um on their laser lipo or body journey um so right now i'm waiting at sephora for my makeup girl here in atlanta she's been doing my makeup since i stepped foot in atlanta she is a beast when it comes to the makeup um but because I'm traveling, you know, in the next coming months, I want to make sure that my my foundation and, and my contouring color is the correct color. Um, I'm new to putting makeup. Well, I'm new to applying the makeup myself. I always just pay to get my makeup done. Um, but because, like I said, I'll be traveling and I want to look nice, you know, when I go out to dinners and stuff, um, I've you know been trying to get more into doing my own makeup. However, when it comes to picking my shade. It's just something that I just, I'm still getting the hang of. I think I'm getting pretty good at applying my makeup. It's just picking the shade. So since she's the one that does my makeup for me, um, I just, I'm paying her to come up here to meet me to help me match the correct foundation and contouring um, shade that I need. Because I know my color has changed since the last time I did this, which was like in May. So that was in the beginning of the summer. Now we're in fall and I'm sure I, I changed a little bit. The last few times I did my makeup, it looked like I had an orange undertone, which was weird. Um, so I just want to make sure I had the right shade. So all of my makeup girlies, makeup moms, if y'all are on here, y'all can give me some feedback. Especially when y'all see my makeup that I'm going to be doing in the future, um, the next coming weeks when I'm, you know, doing my get ready with me's and doing my makeup and stuff. If y'all got any tips, just... I love you know constructive constructive criticism tips all of that just drop them below um, if y'all have any advice right now with it just drop it below because I would love it like I said I'm new to this journey um, but I just seen that they had a kill me crazy that's right here and I haven't ate today um, so I think I'm about to go give me um, what is it called a hummus toast it's like a piece of like toast uh, with hummus, feta cheese, cucumbers, and tomatoes on it. It's so good um, and healthy. Besides the bread part. Uh, but I'm going to go get that while I'm waiting for her. It's 12.10 now. We're supposed to be meeting at 12.30. So I have time to go get that, eat, and then just walk over there to Sephora. I need to give me some skincare stuff too because I'm running out of my skincare. Um, I need to get travel size stuff for me traveling. And then, yeah, get my foundation, my contour. I need some bronzer. I need some blush. 
all that good all that good expense you know girl stuff um so i'm gonna go do that go go to go to kill me crazy then go back to sephora and i'm gonna come back to you all this is gonna be a little short little one two one two um because i always anytime i have valuable information i pick up my camera because i know y'all are faithfully watching my my videos for tips tricks and just on this lipo journey with me and I just found out something like it's not even found out like I had an idea that this was going on but it was just confirmed right now I can't feel my stomach so I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all about that let me go to kill me crazy Sephora and I'll check back in with y'all Jury in the safe on arrival, pistol on J for survival. A lot of people gunning for the title, a lot of people trying to take us viral. I'm just trying to have a nice night, the waiter brought a check for the meal. She said, Babe, I think that was a typo. Nah, girl, I got it, that's life, though. I can show you bigger things than that. It's gonna be a minute till I'm back. Let me get your images that last. Amex had a limit in the past. I had plenty women in the past, I done plenty sinning in the past. Y'all don't need to know, but you can ask. Sticking on your backstage pass, all access, cause you bad. You could go wherever with that ass. Show to the shower, to the truck, truck to the club for the party. You go in first with your girls, cause I don't know who's out there watching. But I do know one thing. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all what I got from Sephora. So the only thing that's not pictured here is my skincare that I got, which is already packed away in my bag. But this plus my skincare, oh, and this hand sanitizer was $180. <laughs> so I got this Tarte um, concealer. I got it in the medium tan beige. Um, I got this Sephora molasses lip liner because I've seen somebody on, um, I've seen a girl on TikTok that did a, a bomb, um, a bomb lip combo. I've been having this one actually. Yeah, I've been having this one. Um, and then I got the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I got it in a mocha and then I got the long lasting setting spray literally $180 plus my skincare which that was $40 then at Target I got this so I got this plus an outfit for my daughter some paper towels some milk um, what else is not pictured here Oh, and a bunch of, since I'm traveling, like, I don't like to take, like, my, like, my big products with me when I travel. So, when I'm trying, I got, like, a bunch of, like, deodorants and, like, body wash bar soap. So, I got a bunch of those, like, one for, a whole set for me with the mouthwash, toothpaste, all that for me. One for my spouse and one for my stepdaughter. And then small sets for my kids. All of this came out to $130. So, I got a full brush set. set. This is the most expensive thing, which was, I think, $30. Um, I got this, um... Who is this by? I told you I'm new to this. It says BR. I forget the name of it. I think I have something else by them too, which is this one. Um, but I got the contour stick. I got the contour palette. I got the um, the loose powder. I needed another um, what's this called? eyeliner. My blush. My sponges. And that's it. That's it. This is a makeup I already had, which I'm missing some. I don't know where I put it at, and it's driving me crazy. I put it in one of my purses, and I can't find it. So I'm most likely going to have to go back to Sephora tomorrow and buy my Makeup by Mario highlight because I love that highlight and the little highlight stick, and it's driving me insane that I don't know what I did with it. So this is my makeup kit. <sighs> yeah, about $300 later. So we are back. So I went to Sephora. Let me just say, <laughs> Sephora, y'all need to go down on y'all's prices. Like we are in a recession. Why am I walking out of there buying four things and my total was $180? Like, please, the math is not math in Sephora. Just for me to come to Target, remind y'all, with my makeup girl, I don't know nothing about makeup. All the things that I've been taking out on TikTok, like I've been, you know, 
getting like little tips off TikTok. Um, all the names and stuff that, that, that the girls were giving me on TikTok is drugstore brands. So I got like my foundation and um, my concealer, I think some setting spray, and of course my self-care face stuff um, from Sephora, which I think were good investments. But like all the other stuff, like the blush, the bronzer, all that, I got from Target. And literally, I got all my stuff plus milk paper towels and I bought my daughter an outfit because you know I can never pass up the little single outfits all that came out to 130 <sighs> so for I'm only going to y'all for my skincare from now on Target is gonna get my money now because there's no way there's no way there's just there's just no way so I'm even talking now I'm about to head home waiting for my phone to charge real quick so I could pay my makeup girl for uh <coughs> For helping me with my makeup we're well, about to head home and start um, cleaning up and getting ready to head out of town but I want to talk to y'all because for one um, somebody um, somebody wrote a comment like I said I, I reply back to all my comments so like if y'all have any video suggestions or any questions or, or anything tips anything drop them in my comment box where I do reply back I do respond but I seen somebody comment on one of my videos a while back and was like don't ever go to Sonobello. Don't ever get your treatment done at Sonobello. I got this, this, this done, which I think it was like the same stuff that I got done. And they was like, until this day, I still cannot feel my stomach. And granted, I did have the same feeling, especially like in my beginning stages. Um, but today when I was getting my Turbo Drano, like you're, when, when you're getting it, I don't know if you remember from my last video, but you feel like static. Like you, you feel it. Like it's like you're getting shocked repeatedly. It doesn't hurt, but it does feel like you're getting shocked. Um, and this time she started on my stomach and she was like, okay, I'm going to start on your stomach. Let me know you feel like the little prickly feeling. And she just kept going up and up and up and up and up. And she's like, you don't feel anything? I was like, no. She's like, okay, well, I'm going to stop here because I'm at the max. But she, you know, it's still being done. You just probably can't feel it. Y'all, I didn't feel a thing. I didn't feel not one single prick. Like nothing, nada. So then she flipped me over to my stomach and she was doing my back. And on my back on the same set, it hurt to where like I'm like flinching. Like she had to cut it back down to like halfway because I felt it on my back. So I text my masseuse and I'm asking her like, you know, granted I know when I got my, my surgery, they did tell me that you're going to lose your feeling in your stomach, but it's going to come back gradually. Um, and But this is my first time experiencing it at the caliber that I experienced it because I was, I was low-key freaking out like what the heck. Um, but I contacted my masseuse and she was basically explaining to me that your nerves were severed. Um, so they have to basically replenish they basically have to come back because y'all have to remember like even to this day I'll get like an itch on my stomach somewhere and it's like I'll scratch it but it's like I'm not scratching it it's like I'm not scratching in the spot that it's itching so to where I have to like scratch everywhere because I don't know where the itch is coming from the sensation and everything is off of my stomach not my back but my stomach and the reason for that is because when they do the skin removal if y'all seen all the fat that they took off um, on my stomach which I'm gonna put a picture right here all that got removed so they pulled it down so my nerves are basically having to link up back on those on those spots again like they have to come back on that spot again and that's why it's feeling the way it feels so don't panic if you're somebody that experienced surgery um, even if you're the person that commented on my video and you're like I can't feel anything don't panic because it's going to come back gradually like it has to replenish itself it has to get used to the spots the nerves that it's in right now and then it'll eventually replenish itself and come back so my masseuse you know she kind of talked me down because I was panicking for a little bit um, so I'm telling y'all don't panic because it's normal Normal. And I'm gonna actually have her talk about it more on the video that we're gonna record next week so if you're not subscribed to this channel subscribe now um, like comment leave suggestions whatever the case may be because the video that I'm gonna be dropping with her next week is gonna be a banger it's gonna be one of them ones like I can't wait I'm putting all the questions together that you all have been asking me and everything so we can make sure everything gets answered so yeah if you lost feeling in your stomach do not panic it's gonna come back the nerves have to link up with other nerves for it to replenish and come back and get the feeling again I'm trying to pay my makeup girl um, um, so yeah um, I'm about to head home and get to oh I gotta take my truck to get my tire fixed like my tire keeps going low I thought it was the, the weather um, but I literally get air put in it and like a few minutes later the air is back outside so I need to go get that done today too 
um, and then really just clean up and organize and get ready for our family vacay. I love family vacay that we about to go on. Um, so yeah, and I need to come back and get back with my face lady because I need to do something. I, I don't know. I think I need to do like micro needling or something because my face is like <sighs> my face is facing. And y'all, by nature, that's why I wanted my chin done. But by nature, um, like everybody on my side has a very very fat face. Like we're known for our fat cheeks and high cheekbones. So even like when I do lose weight, more weight get more tone my face is probably gonna always have like this structure just because it's something that runs in my family like um if i could find pictures of my big granny uh, and my dad i'm gonna like insert them here but like we're known for like cheeks like we have really high cheekbones really fat cheeks fat faces that's just like a signature in the johnson family so yeah um so this is just a little sh a short quick video just going over you with you all and ex well i took y'all with me to my body treatment again i told y'all i was going to record it every single week even though i didn't record today because i felt like y'all seen it but i wanted to make sure i got out the important message that you're going to lose feeling in your stomach especially if you if you get the ab x treatment you're going to lose feeling in your stomach you're not going to be able to itch the same your your scar line is going to be um tender still like mine is still tender to this day um it's normal your your nerves have to link up with other nerves and it's gonna come back over time like i'm about to be a year uh post 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 op whatever in less than a month and i still don't have the feeling back all the way like i could feel my stomach like i like if i'm pinching my stomach right now i could feel that pinch if i'm touching my stomach i could feel it but certain things i can't feel and it's normal it's okay it's okay um so i'm gonna take y'all along with me on my family vacay um over the next week or so when we go um just traveling with me being with me it's gonna be my lifestyle content with try on hauls swimsuit hauls and stuff like that um so if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel now um you can follow me on instagram lovely make underscore um and do not forget about the rich family that's our other youtube channel on that channel we talk about a lot of investments uh, we talk about forex crypto nft stocks um, i'm going on my journey with my real estate um journey that i'm going to be filming over there as well um i also talk about sports betting if you want to learn how to make money off of sports did we we, me and my spouse, Rich Off The Net on Instagram as well, we talk about a lot of digital entrepreneur stuff. So if you're somebody that's a stay-at-home mom, I want to um, capitalize off the, the extra funds you have or just want to have extra funds, The Rich Family is a channel that you may want to tune into because we talk about everything that comes into the digital era, being an entrepreneur and things of such. Uh, like I said, you can all of us must also follow my spouse, Rich Off The Net on Instagram. Um, he's not as active on there, but he also has a YouTube as well. But, we, but combined, we do a lot of stuff like that on The Rich family which we're getting back to our content on the rich family at the end of this month i told him that i want to fully launch out this channel um and help my surgery girls and we're gonna get back into the groove of things with the rich family but we still have a ton of content over there right now that you all can learn off of as we speak um if you're somebody that wants to learn how to build a successful youtube channel or build a successful online store or get into investments um and get into the digital era you can email me at partner with drf at gmail.com and i'll point you in the right, dire right direction and get you started but for now that's the end of this video thank you all for all of your support do not forget if you're not subscribed subscribe now because i'm going to be doing a giveaway at 1000 subscribers three giveaways i'm gonna do three giveaways i'm gonna do a basket for people who haven't done surgery yet um that's planning to have it i'm gonna do a second basket for people who just had surgery which is like a basket of stuff to help you on your recovery and then my third winner is me gonna be giving y'all a gift card for body treatment which is what i've been doing for the past few weeks which i've been seeing phenomenal results um um, we're gonna do that giveaway at 1,000 which I believe are about 200 plus subscribers away also one last announcement below in the description box in the comment box is gonna be the link to my Amazon storefront in the Amazon storefront I have all of the surgery stuff that I use which is gonna be in some of y'all's baskets as well in that Amazon link so down to the waist trainers down to the Fajas because you all know if y'all know I went through at least 100 Fajas on my journey. So I put my top Faja in that Amazon store. So go ahead and go pay that a visit. Subscribe, like, and comment. Until the next video, I will see you all later. Bye.